You know, my first paycheck, I was paid like $350,000. I wouldn't have thought in a million years that I would have been able to coach on the same team that I got to play and that my dad got to play. I can go to dinner with Corey Gamble and Miss Jenna now. Today we have Ronnie Brewer. We got his Bentley behind us. Let's hop in. Let's do it. Did you have a connection with Musk before you got hired? You know, I didn't know him. I, I saw him in passing when I played in the NBA. One day, somebody posted a picture, an old picture of Musk when he was a kid. He had this poster uh, on his wall. It was the same poster that I had in my room as a kid. And it was with my dad playing. And I was like, why does this man have a poster of my dad? on his wall and I, I messaged him on social media like why do you why do you have a picture of my dad on your wall and he was like oh i was a big fan of your dad and i was like who would have thought you knew who my dad was well come to find out my dad he was playing for the san antonio spurs he was a backup for uh george iceman gervin george gervin got hurt and so instead of being like a backup to a superstar, my dad now took the superstar minutes mm -hmm. and the superstar role where he's gonna get more shots. Uh, things are gonna be ran through him as if they were ran through Iceman. So my dad put up crazy numbers, you know, a couple 40 point games, uh, 30 point games, and he ended up getting like player of the week a couple times. He got traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, C Coach Musselman's dad was the coach in GM. Oh. And so he traded for my dad. My dad, I think, averaged like 17 or 18 points that year, you know, with the Cavs. You know, it's, it's such a small world that his dad brought my dad to Cleveland. That's where my sister was, you know, born at. Um, oh, wow. And the even smaller world is like, Muss is like, hey, you know, I'm new here, you know, and I was like, anything that you need or if I can help any type of way, let me know. He's like, yeah, man, I just got hired. I need some players. It's like, oh, you need players? It's like, okay, well, lucky for you, I'm an AU coach, and I've got some players. I was like, man, there's, I was like, there's a guy that if you go get, he's gonna be the heart and soul of your team. And he was like, well, you know. Who is it? And I said, hey, there's a guy by the name of Devo Davis out of Jacksonville, Arkansas. He's verbally committed to Oklahoma State. I know if you ask him to be a Razorback, it's gonna be a no-brainer for him to be a Razorback. He's like, you, you think that he will switch? 110%, and the, the rest is history. That same team that we had, KK Robinson was on that team. Jalen Williams was on that team. Uh, Chris Moore, who's at Auburn, was on that team. We had a couple other guys uh, that on um, the AAU team that you mm -hmm. helped recruit. Yeah. What about Nick Smith? Did you? Yeah, it's also small circle with that. You know, when I was in high school, I played against Nick Smith Sr. Yeah. And I have a good relationship, a good bond with him, and he's an integral part of getting Nick to come be a Razorback. You know, a lot of people thought he was going to go different places, and you know, Nick could have easily shut it down for the year and just started training for the NBA Combine. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that he wanted to do, he wanted to write his name in, in you know, the, the, the record books of, you know, he's a guy that was an in-state kid mm -hmm. that played for his in-state university. He didn't have to go somewhere else and still had the ability to, to play and make it to the NBA. Into the front court, alley -oop it. Oh! Ronnie Brewer! Flying high like Superman! When I went to the NBA, I never had more than $1,000 in my bank account. And then, you know, my first paycheck, I was paid like $350,000. And everybody in the organization laughed at me because I go to my locker, I have an envelope. I'm like, oh, I got mail, you know, people send, send fan mail to the facilities and I thought I was gonna have to sign some cards. And so I, I opened up the envelope and it's a check, $357,000. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so I grabbed the check, I run upstairs and I was like, hey, um, ma'am, I think you made a mistake. I want my payments like on the 1st and 15th. Um, like I don't, I don't want it in, in like big lump sums. I want it on the 1st and 15th so I can learn how to manage money. I've never had money. And she was like, oh, we, we, we are. And I was like, well, can I, can, can y'all rewrite me a new check with the, you know, it broken down? And she was like, that, that's your, that, that's it's your, broken down. That's your check right there, broken down. I called my mom, I was like, what am I, what do I do with this? Like, do I take to the bank? Do I like, I don't know what to do. The general manager, Kevin O'Connor, kind of heard me talking and he gets a kick out of it. He's like, 
Ryan, let's go downstairs in the locker room. I want you to ask some of your teammates some questions, and I want to hear their response. He's like, Mimito Kerr, and he had signed like a $50 million deal. Like Carlos Boozer signed like an $86 million deal. Um, and Darren Williams was like the second or third pick in the draft. Also signed like a $100 million deal. He's like, Ronnie, a ask them what their what their check looks like. Hey, AK, um, if you don't mind, I'm not trying to pry your know, personal business, but like, you, you got paid today because I see the envelope. Like, did they mess your checkup? And he goes, I mean, I hope not. He always like, oh no, I didn't mess it up. And I was like, well, what is it? It was like $1.5 million. I was like, whoa, 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 wait a second. They just gave you $1.5 million. He's like, yeah, that's what I get every two weeks. And I, it like blew my mind. I was like, you, you go from not having money at all to having money. Williams to and he flies in, uncontested. Was it in your goals back, you know, a decade or so ago to be a coach back at the Razorbacks? It's funny how things come full circle. You know, my mom always told me, like, you have to know where you're from to know where you're going before you know where you're going in life. And so, and I made a promise to her that I was going to, you know, come back and finish my degree. And after I did that, I was like, well, I don't know really what I want to do as far as, like, career-wise uh, after I retired. Um, you know, I was like, I didn't, you know, I wanted to start some business stuff. I wanted to also, like, mentor um, student athletes and so you know getting the call from coach coach must um, about wanting to join his staff was kind of a dream come true and you know a, a true full circle um, experience because you know I, I wouldn't have thought in a million years that I would have been able to coach um, you know on the same team that I got to play and that my dad got to play and you know it's, it's been just been a blessing and, and I thought it's it's been really cool and, and having the success that we've had so far again to go to a, two elite eights in a sweet 16 like Devo Davis you know depending on how we do this year is going to go down as one of the most successful Razorbacks of all time um, just because of how many games he's won and how many opportunities he's had to help the team win um, it, that, that's a true testament of him, his hard work and dedication. The saying, you know, once a Razorback, always a Razorback, or once a hog, always a hog, that that, that truly means something to people. Um, and it means something to me, guys on our coaching staff. And so uh, we, we want to develop guys. We want to be, you know, better. And, you know, we feel like we can do that because, you know, we've been there and done that and, and, and had that experience to do so. If I keep going, I'll be the greatest. I put South Carolina and I was the saddest. Just a little feeling you get when you make it. There's a million mascots, and you can go across the board in Division One, and Division Two. There's only one Razorback. You played for the Jazz, the Grizzlies, the Bulls, the Knicks, the Thunder, and the Rockets. Mm -hmm. How much was your signing bonus? You're the recruiting director, so yeah. that's definitely fitting as yeah. you've kind of had a career that a lot of these players aspire to have. There's no other program in, in college basketball that has more NBA experience than the Arkansas Razorbacks. You know, working for Muss, you have to be better than you were the day before.